Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. Well, let's see, I had a little situation, had to take care of things, uh, I took a couple days of... You know, who cares? Let's play the game. Do you smell that? Oh, yeah, it's been a bit, so I may have forgotten the names. If I forget a name, uh... Names! Wow! I mean, voices! <laughs> Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. Oh. I want you to have a nice time living here. I will so a snail pie, a snail pie. I so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay, this is it. Oh boy, a hallway, a room of your own, just as good. I hope you like it. Pat, pat, pat. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Okay. So, I, other than go into the room, I will look at everything else. You've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. It's in here. Oh. Just a regular old bucket. Okay. Of snails. Okay. It's Toriel's diary. Read the, encir the circle passage? Well, normally, morality says you shouldn't, but I'm nosy, so... You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling... bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Oh yeah, this is me. I don't have to do a voice. <laughs> Toriel's small chair. It's named... Charlie. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. All known commonly more, uh, more commonly as water sausage. I am slurring my words really bad right now. <laughs> Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Okay. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> I like how my voice perfectly matched that. <laughs> ah, the cactus. Truly most sonore of plants, if I'm even saying that right. Curse languages and their fancy ways of saying things. Inside the drawer of flower seeds and some broken crayons. Okay. Room under renovations. Okay. Oh! Working mirror! Oh! At least I thought it was... I actually took me a second to let that process. When I saw the reflection go by, I'm like, oh! Immediately a mirror! I'm like, wait, what if that's like a clone or something? No, it was weird. Oh! It's a water sausage! Oh, now that dialogue changed. So it's going to be one of those kind of games. Alright, yeah, sure. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier is fearful further attacks we retreated. Far, far into the earth until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. Our great... As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. I actually forgot to read the beginning part of that. I'm kind of speeding along a little too fast. I need to slow down. Okay. Stare at my cat for a minute. Give him a little pet. There we go. The ends of tools have been filed down to make them safer. Of course they have. There we go. Hello there. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Sure. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Well, I guess magic's a thing. Hmm. I guess I should have assumed that before. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Curious. I need to slow down a little. Going a little too fast. Ooh, room. Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all! <laughs> ah, okay. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Curious, why would there be an empty photo frame here? Really? Ooh, okay. A box of kid shoes and a disparity of sizes. Okay. 
don't know why she has all these things here. Maybe she's just lonely. Or maybe more humans come through here than I think. Well, she must didn't... I'm not sure. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Sweet. Why was it dark? Oh! Oh! I just wanted to see what the flower thing was all about. Because we were just encountered by the beginning of a game of a flower. Oh! The music changes. Cute. And all from me wanting to stare at a flower poster. Man, you never look at flowers the same way again. They're murderous little things, aren't they? Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know I'm glad to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come to a surprise for you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Yeah, a little bit to me, I didn't really think of... Eh. I guess that could explain the room. Stay at home school. Still! That face! I'm glad to, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh. Did you want something? What is it? Uh, nothing. Because I saw that other option. I didn't want to do that. Uh, slow down. Slow down. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. What is with you and snails? How about it? Uh, sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting! Uh... Sure... Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? Nothing. If you need anything, just ask. Alright, it looks like I'm gonna have to do this. I have to do something. Stay here. I bet she went into her room. Oh, maybe not. Maybe she went in here! Okay, maybe not. Maybe she went into here! Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's the down those stairs that I kind of ignored, huh? Normally you want to stay out of basements. Ooh. That feeling has been confirmed for the dark shade of purple. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave here again. That'd be a good child and go upstairs. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a little extreme. You don't really need to destroy an entire doorway to do that. You can't just put up a padlock and key. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. Okay, lady. I have slain dragons, aliens, mutants other people occasionally mostly bandits though and I have also slain aliens did I say aliens I think I did oh dear but my point is that's a little extreme I can handle myself you naive child if you leave the ruins they as will kill you man red text I am only protecting you do you understand no! This is a little extreme! Chains! Padlock and key! Be rational here! Go to your room! You're not my mom, goat mom! Well, I was calling you goat mom. I think I called you mom on the cell phone. <laughs> do not try to stop me! This way, this is your final warning! Bro, dude, bro, dude, dude, bro! I mean, lady, uh, don't destroy a door! You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself! Prove to me you are strong enough to survive! Okay. Pacifist route, right? Alright, Toriel. I will talk you down! You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh. Oh! Ah! Whoosh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Toriel is acting aloof. Wait, does that mean... No. Okay. Lies. Deceit. <laughs> uh, oh. I wish I had a controller. My hand's getting stiff. Toria looks through you. Okay, your name's not yellow yet. 
try to say, say again, but... Uh, Jesus! Toriel looks through you. Wait! Come on! Ironically, Tuggy is not the only solution to the situation. Oh, I did it! Uh, oh. Wait, didn't the frog- Wait! The frog said something about sparing even when- Oh! Ugh, I know this move. Oh yeah, it bounces! Oh, I still got hit. Sorry, I'll take some deep breath. Spare? Damn it! I hide in the corner, I guess. Toriel propels a magical attack! Uh, spare! What am I doing? Her response has changed, but... Aw, oh, there was one stuck in the corner. That's mean. Ironically, talking does not seem to be a solution to the situation. Oh, okay, standing still does not work. Uh... Wait. Oh! Wait a second! The, t the fire is going around me! Torreal looks through you. Me now! What are you doing? Oh! I have to be knocked down to low health! I will run into the- Oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't run into the fire. That'd be stupid. What are you proving this way? No! I won't go on this pacifist route because I know it's possible! I will not! Determination is... My thing, I think! I'm doing something! This is definitely a boss fight. Aha! I am so... <laughs> Holy hell, bullet storming. I think it's working. At least I think so. Oh! I did it! I know you want to go home, but. Dot dot dot. Spare? But please, go upstairs now. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this problem. Okay. I promise I'll take good care of you here. Oh. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Don't! Ah, oh, I'm already feeling bad! Why are you making this so difficult? Oh, I forgot the voice. Please, go upstairs. Ah, oh, sad face! Huh? Pathetic. Is it not? I cannot even save a single child. No, I understand. You just... You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear for you and my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, do not, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh. Oh. Goodbye, my child. Uh, do I go? Okay. Freedom! <laughs> so, what? That's weird! I didn't expect to be having to knock down low health and then keep doing the spare thing. I thought I had to keep talking. So, apparently bosses don't have yellow text when you can spare them. Oh god, there might be different mechanics for bosses. Ones that I might not even think of. I'm taking my hands off just to think of this. It's probably a really long hallway too. Oh no, that's going to be awful. Or good. Depending. It'll be weird uh, trying it. Oh, it's you again! It'll be weird trying different techniques. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed! So you're, play 
So you were able to play by your own rules? You spared the life of a single person? <laughs> I bet you feel really great. Actually, yeah, I do. You didn't kill anybody this time. What will we do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. But what will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I'm getting a little too into this. I am the princess of the world's future! Don't worry, my little monarch! My plan isn't regicide! This is so much more interesting! <laughs> Ugh, I think I made the voice a little too much. I don't... Are you like the little evil thing inside my head that's gonna be trying to get me to kill? Okay! Undertale! By Toby Fox. Alright. I need to remember to do the voices. I'm not used to making voices. This is probably the first text game I'm playing on. Well, first not voice game. Ooh. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Okay. Spooky woods. Ooh, a stick. It's a tough looking branch, too heavy to pick up. Alright. Was that me? Something's behind me! Mmm, I'm nervous there's a sprint key. Hey, how's it going? Shadowy figure of uh, increasing evil. Human! Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand? Oh! Oh, hi! Wait. Hey, yo, whoopee cushion in the hand. Hey, they want whoopee cushion in their hands. It's always funny. Anyway, you're human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Yeah, I know who you are. I'm actually supposed to be on the watch for your humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting, human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anybody. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what? Sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around the outside your station. What are you even doing? I'm staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have the time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal God! People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you can do is sit and bundugle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey! Take it easy! I've gotten a ton of work to do today. A skeleton. A skeleton. Oh no, rimshot! Sans! Come on! Oh, come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it! Ah. 
Why does somebody as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <coughs> ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Um, you ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Just, just a conveniently shaped lamp. Ah. Uh, so he didn't see me from coming over at this angle? <laughs> okay! Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. So, do I go this way? Okay, that was uh, a little bizarre. <laughs> I love it. The convenience of the lamp still fills you with determination. Okay. Use the box. No. What is the sign? This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Okay, that's probably just a weird way of saying game dev, but... Tough glove? Tough glove. Weapon at five. A warm pink lover gloves for five finger folk. Okay, I'll put it on. I got a tough glove. What does the toy knife say? Weapon at three. Made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. Oh, because it's... Plastic, I guess. Oh! Snow Drake flutters forth! Okay. Uh. Joke. You make a bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? Oh, okay. No jokes, no jokes, no jokes, no jokes, no jokes, no puns! It smells like a wet pillow. Laugh. What are you laughing at, okay? That didn't work. No! Oh. Oh, wow, I don't know how that one didn't hit me. Snowdrake is assessing the crowd. Heckle! They struggle to make a retort and slink away utterly. Oh! Oh! Wow, that's mean! Ooh, fishing rod. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attended is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me! Here's my number. He decided not to call. He signed a line back out. Maybe I can call! Oh. Oh, okay. I actually, I thought that was like call, but I guess it was Toriel's phone. Oh my god, there they are. I thought he went this way though. So, as I was saying about Uday, uh, Udine. Sans! Oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Ow. Hey! Hey, we're still in front of the rock. Oh my god! <laughs> is that. Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans! I finally did it! Udain will... I'm gonna... I'm not even sure if I'm saying that name right. I'm probably not. I'll be so... Popular! 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 Ahem! Human! You should not pass this area! You should not pass this area! I'm sorry if I'm screaming at this. It's in caps. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then... Then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue, only if you dare. Yeah. Well, that went well. 
Don't sweat it, kid. I'll just keep an eye, uh, keep an eye socket out for you. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm sure that's a rock. Oh, ice cap struts into view. Okay. Uh, let's ignore him. He looks annoyed. Okay. Whoa! Okay, that would kind of... Oh, wait. Uh, secret chicken if you're looking at his hat. Okay. Maybe if I compliment. I mean, poor Ice Cap, he has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you! Oh, okay. I see, you're gonna be like that. Steel? Oh! Oh. Okay. Wasn't figuring those would be ice cannons! Woo! They come back down. Physics. Okay, ignore. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, I didn't even bother looking here. I thought the. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Yeah, this is papyrus. Absolutely no moving. Did someone move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If someone was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Oh. Doggo blocks the way. Check. Easily excited by movement, including include scrolls. I thought that'd be a little too obvious! <laughs> Pet. <laughs> Pet doggo. What? I've been petted! <laughs> pot, 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 pet, 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 pet. Oh. This is something, Peppy! Something that isn't moving! I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. No? Is anybody there? No? Okay. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Somebody's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> hey, there's something important to remember. My brother has very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, um... Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. So don't move on blue attacks. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Uh, north ice, south ice, uh, east... Oh. And ice. Okay, so I guess I go this way? But that might be the right way. Oh. Lesser dog appears. Hi, lesser dog! Oh, no! Oh, that would have been bad. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! Oh, I thought I could dodge it. Pet, 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 pet! Oh! Oh, they're gonna move it, do that. I understand now. I understand! Oh. You're so lazy! You are napping all night! I think that's called... sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh-ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you'll find this one... 
quite shocking. But you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun? Because the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small. It's actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Oh. I think you should have given me the orbs. Zans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. <laughs> okay, try now. Oh. oh, okay. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will be done. It will not be easy. It is done designed by my brother Sands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> um, Sands? Hey, thanks. My brother seems to like it. Seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Well, I don't know if I would use the words cool, but he's definitely a character. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, hey, how's it going? I don't understand why he's staring sailing. It's a perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Just 15... Okay, sure. I'm guessing this is a healing item? Ooh! Heals 15 HP instead of a joke. The rapper says something nice. Oh, okay. I need that. You're super spiffy! You recover 15 HP. I'll buy another one, actually. Oh, okay, that was weird. I couldn't even move forward. Oh! I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Win some fried snow? Just 5G? Sure. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Sure. Really? How about 500? <laughs> that's my final offer. What? You don't have the money. Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> Just... Okay, no. I should charge way more than that. <laughs> I'm guessing his puzzle has something to do with this ball. It's... Forget it, I'm gonna see about... Aha! Whoa, whoa! It's a hole! Okay! Uh, that was right. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. <sighs> Come on. Eh. Eh. Ah, why can't it just be a direction to shoot something? God, I am such a generic, not gamer person. Stop it! I will fight you. Eh? Aha! Uh, it must go at a certain angle. Oh no! It's melting! No! No, wait! Oh! Oh, if I don't touch it for a while, it melts. Why is this. Why is the ball melting? Or is it just deflating? So meaning I have to constantly be hitting it. Oh god. Uh, I can't angle myself just right? God. Okay. Got it. I think I'm learning how to do this. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Come on, I can do this. Yes. No! Fuck. No! Go back. Yeah! Wait, what? Purple! Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved one the end of ball. You are awarded 2G. That was optional? 
Oh, man! Looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow dick. What? I am not even reading that. Human! I hope you're ready for... Sans? Where's the puzzle? It's right there. On the ground. Trust me. There's no way you can pass this one. Okay. It's... a word search? Sans! That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. <laughs> What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is the heart <laughs> is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that's like that's easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Yo man! Solve this dispute. Which is harder? Uh I guess crossword. You two are weird! Crosswords are just... are so easy! It's the same solution every time! I just fill all the boxes with the letter Z! <laughs> because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore! <laughs> Papyrus finds difficulty in industry. interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> Oh my god. It's a note from Papyrus. Yo man! Please enjoy this spaghetti! Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it, that you won't realize you aren't progressing. Thoroughly gentlemen for the great Papyrus! <laughs> Papyrus. Cool. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. Oh. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> oh, God. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat the spaghetti, it fills you with determination? Oh! I didn't even see it! Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!